Mad Queen. Welcome into another All About Spotlight video where I dive into one of the heroes in the game. I am going to be doing a video where I dive into every single hero within the game. It obviously just takes a little bit of time. Today is Karma. Um, and if you are interested in finding out more information in detail about other heroes in the game, you can check out the ones I have so far on that playlist, which is going to be on the main channel of my YouTube. So this video over Carmel is going to be a little bit different than most of them that I do. I am going to try to make it as similar as possible as far as... Uh, Anyways, you can see right now the power I have for Carmel. He's level 219. That's because he's in the inherent. When I show you his talents, you can see I don't have any of his talents done. There is a reason for that. And I actually only put gear on him specifically for this video to show people how they can build him if you are intent on using him. Carmel is not a good hero. If you've watched any of my tier list videos, you know that he is always at the bottom. He's not the only one. And fortunately, there are not a whole lot of heroes in general that are at the bottom of the tier list, but Carmel does happen to be one of those. He is one of the heroes that you're able to get in the beginning of the game when you start. I'm pretty sure he is the first damage dealing hero that you get and it's okay to use him until you get better options, but he, I mean, he desperately needs a buff. Typically, I would go through and read each of his skills individually. I'm not going to do that, but I will give you an overview on how his kit works and what he does in general. So, Carmel and all of his abilities basically do some kind of fire damage. He does have the option to do AoE damage. Almost all of his abilities, I can't remember exactly, if not all of them, most of them are AoE based. He throws out a flame, it bounces around, it burns on the ground, that deals extra damage over time. And honestly, when you go through and read his kit, if you haven't already, it is very promising when you take a look at the amount of damage he's supposedly supposed to be able to do because not only does he do initial damage, he actually is able to do damage over a certain amount of time or for a period of time because he has a burning effect which lasts. I am not exactly sure what went wrong with building this guy. He desperately needs a buff. I have tried. Honestly, you can see I have him almost fully immortal, and as much as I hate to admit it, this was actually kind of, kind of on purpose. Ugh, I hate saying that. But whenever I first started the game and I got him, and I was like, oh yeah, he's, he's not bad. I'm going to use him to try to level up in advance. He doesn't, you know, and so I tried to get copies of him, you know, from different stores where you can exchange, you know, uh, the recruitment cards you get after actually recruiting. Um, I can't think of what they're actually called. But anyways, where I would exchange in the stores and shops for copies of him. And then I obviously later on realized that that was a big mistake. It is what it is, which is why I'm trying to be as informed as I can to let you guys know not to make the same mistake I did. You can't help it, though, if the game is just throwing you multiple copies of the hero, though. That does happen. I do have some heroes on my account that are fully immortal, not because they're good, not because I use them, but because the game loves to give them to me. I think that he really does have potential to do quite a bit more damage, and all of his damage is based on attack, which is nice um, and normal, of course, but he doesn't, he doesn't do enough. I honestly, there was a point when I was still really kind of trying to figure out everything about the game and I was still progressing throughout the dungeon content. 
I saw that there were people in my server using Karma in their stage 15 teams on the Disa Caves, or not the Disa Caves, the Sinsara Marsh, which he should be really good for there, right? You know, based on his kit, you do want to use AoE heroes or heroes that are able to do damage over an area. I tried so many different combinations putting him in there, and I was like, these guys have to be hacking. How are they doing it? If you're seeing other people using him, these people are most likely free to play friendly, and they have put an extensive amount of resources into him. That does not mean you should do that, which is what I did because I was like, oh, they're using him on stage 15. He must be good there. And that was <laughs> that was not the case. And I think we've all, um, you know, been victim of that at some point or another. As far as his stats, I will pull them up so you can see um, overall his health is 523,000, 62,000 attack and 3,900 defense. His base attack is really pretty good for the most part and if i were to put his talents in and do his exclusives he would have an insane amount of attack but you can build way less attack into other heroes that deal a lot more damage overall but i'll pull up his stats here and you can see everything the stats you want to look at overall are going to be his attack crit rate, crit damage. And then also you can put some accuracy into him. That is going to help him deal a little bit more damage overall. But like I said, at the end, end of the day, I, I do not recommend building this guy out. But honestly, if there's somebody out there that is using Karma in a super busted way, let us in on it. Let me know. Um, I would be more than happy to even go as far as featuring your account on my YouTube channel. So let me know because I don't know everything. I never claim to. I never will. And, you know, there could be somebody out there that is just really busting it out with a super jacked karma. I mean, I doubt it, but, you know, it could happen. As far as equipment, it's not really important to build crit rate and crit damage into him. You can just go for straight attack and go for accuracy. If you're really trying to build an OP Karma, you want to focus attack, then crit rate, some accuracy, and then crit damage. And that's going to be the overall best build for him. Right now, I just have three hero sets. As we know, each set stacks and is able to give an additional 15% attack overall. I have attack percent as the main stat everywhere on the bottom. And whenever I was looking at the substats, I just tried to get attack percent and a bit of accuracy. Like I said though, I, I don't use Karma anymore, but before I made this video, I did try to test him out quite a bit in a few different builds. Some builds were better than others and if you have the stats to, and I do have this where I can build in crit rate and crit damage and accuracy as well, but I didn't want to showcase that build because that's a lot of stats to put into someone that doesn't really have a lot of payoff. So. I didn't want to encourage people to try to reach for getting all of those stats to put into him because he's just not worth it in general in the long run or at all. I did also make the mistake of forging exclusives into him. Something I like to talk about in all of my videos is prioritizing exclusives on heroes, um, how important it is or also how important it is to not do any exclusives. Karma is one of those heroes where you do not want to do any of the exclusives into. If you get to a point in the game where you're in game or really late game, you have a lot of resources left over and you just kind of want to throw some in. I don't know. I hope one day that I am 
resource rich enough to be able to do that. I'm not currently. And you just want to mess around and test it, go for it. But if you're trying to make strategic choices and smart choices, do not forge exclusives into Karma. Of course, the exclusives are going to help give him a buff, help him do an extra amount of damage. And I personally have not taken him farther than this um, as far as exclusives go. So that could be something where if you fully exclude, put all of his exclusives in, then maybe he's pretty good or he's all right. But if you have to invest that heavily into a hero for them to be viable or for them to be good, then they're not really a good hero. Um, at least that's that's how I think about it, in my opinion, because most people are not in game. They're not late game. They're looking for heroes and watching these videos because they want to progress in some way or another in some place within the game. So that's why I'm letting you know if you have karma, use him until you get somebody better, but do not put your resources into him. Of course, you can go ahead and level him up. You can put your XP into him, your soul rubelites. You can even do his talents because you can reset him. If you don't know, you can reset any hero. I don't always talk about this in all my videos, but I am. I am with him. I have actually reset my karma. But you go in here, you just select a hero, you press reset, you get back all the gear from them that they have on, you get all of the XP, gold, the talent points, the soul potions, I can never remember what they're called, and the soul rubelites. But you will not get any of your exclusives back or your runes that you use to forge exclusives. So that's why I say... Oh, I, I, and I do, I make a big deal about the exclusives. It's funny, I have, I actually have a friend I've, I've been friends with for a long time. We're just gaming friends, actually. And sometimes he will occasionally help me edit my videos. If you see that some of the videos are a little bit more poor quality than others, it's because he's probably edited the bad quality ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, um, kind of, but <laughs> um, he's always like, you talk so much about exclusives. Is it really, you know, is it really necessary? And I did just recently make a video going over that in detail. Yes, it is. It's important. It's a rare resource. I honestly, every time I see my karma, it makes me feel a little stupid, not going to lie, because I did make those mistakes. But again, I was in the beginning of the game and I didn't know what I was doing. So don't make that mistake. Hopefully, maybe one of these days they'll do a massive buff and change karma. I'm going to have basically a fully immortal copy of him and I'll be the first one to remake this video. So that's something else I'll also be doing every six months or so. Um, if there's new gear that's been released or new content in the game or buffs or changes, I will upgrade and update my all about video as well going over the hero because of course they've changed. So if you have any questions or additional comments, anything you'd like to add, like sharing your super jacked OP karma that's just like carrying you and everywhere in the game, I w honestly, I would absolutely love to see that and um, uh, make me eat my words. But Feel free to leave any kind of comments or questions as long as they're helpful and nice. Um, I will try my best to get back to you in a timely manner. But also, you're more than welcome to join my growing Discord community. It's much easier to get a hold of me in there. I check it quite a bit more frequently and it's at my fingertips all the time. So I do have quite a bit of accessibility to that. It's a great place for beginners to ask for advice and experienced players to give advice. The link for that is going to be in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.